Hey y'all, this is the Great. It's been a while since I made the video. I have a new phone, which is an iPhone 8. I don't like it, so I don't know how to work it all the way and it's giving me problems. So that's why it's been a minute since I made the video. But quick little update, y'all. Things are going well with school. I'm passing everything so far and I shall continue to pass everything. I'm waiting on this man to post my homework on grave because that homework wasn't difficult but i wasn't sure if i did everything right but overall everything going good but let me get into why i really made this video why y'all really mad at tasha k and uh, kanye west i understand that y'all they say controversial things and you may not agree with everything but the literal hatred that some of y'all are spewing out my god like why are y'all rooting for cardi b to get this money from this woman when Carly B done sat up here and called black women roaches, which stuff on black children, has sat up here and played victim every time. Playing these games every time, right before a song come out or make some type of people claim that she a victim when she sat up. Like the whole situation with JT that happened last week. You went out your way to go and subtweet. But then you won't sit up here and play like you a victim that everybody always picking on you. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Now, with Kanye West, I understand y'all may not like, I don't care for everything that he has done either. I don't care for the fact that he want to rally up black people after the white folk don't basically rejected him. I don't care about that, but you got to understand this man is a genius. A billionaire genius at that and this man um says things that we have people thinking the fact that y'all are up in arms about him wearing the shirt saying white lives matter it shows how in my opinion it shows that many of y'all just going for the emotional stroke because it's true it's true look at all the crimes that are being committed look how um Violent white people are taking in opposed to violent Supposedly violent black people or oh, better yet innocent black people a black person with a um, wallet a black person with a comb a black person with a cell phone or a black person with a knife Hmm Their lives don't matter, but the white criminal with the knife the white criminal with the gun the white criminal criminal with the uh, fighting fighting the police fighting the police but yet they are taken in safely. So what does that mean? Hmm, hmm, white lives matter. And y'all don't like to hear that, but it's a truth and it's a fact. Cause look at everything that has been going on. Look how people are, people are being treated versus how other people are being treated. And yet y'all wanna sit up here and come down on this man for speaking the truth and then another thing too you negroes why do y'all really care about what he said about the jewish people because at the end of the day what he said is true jew ish ish mean to be like not being actually you are taking on a role selfish you doing for self but you doing you not you doing it for your uh, of self but not being being of self if that don't make sense to y'all, let me see, let me see which way I can explain it even better. Doing it for self, um, doing it for self. Uh, I kind of messed up on that a little bit. If uh, I'm I'm trying to explain it, but it's kind of hard for me to explain with the ish. But just think about it though, Jewish. I forgot what, uh, think about any other ish words and stuff like that. Like, you gotta sit there and look at the definitions of things and like that. And then on top of that, it does, you got Ethiopian Jews. And they treat them, and they treat the Ethiopian Jews like shit in Israel. But y'all mad because, some of y'all mad because he said he's going DEF CON 3 on um, the Jews. He didn't say nothing about violence. He calling them out. And y'all want to be up in arms and defend when those people have set up here and basically took over the world. But yet, let's be mad with Kanye for speaking the truth yet again. Let's be mad with Tasha K for going against a woman who sat up here and went against black women, who sat up here and pleaded guilty to um having those women attacked secondly then she say something too that could have been a violation of her probation dealing with violence and stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. her and that malibu barbie or whoever that she is that malibu girl you going you went out your way to sit up here and go 
to uh, what? The Bronx to supposedly fight this girl with your third, fourth face. Girl, your face ain't even said all the way, so you ain't about to sit up here and mess up your mess up the money you spent on your body. Like y'all need to get off. Like, like, like ugh, for real. Why are y'all going this hard for Cardi B? She just giving you a ratchet ass black girl in Latino skin. Yeah, y'all going up for it. Going up for it. For what? What has she done to make y'all want to be such fan? She ratchet? Okay. Is she rapping? Nothing good. Do she write? Nothing good. But yet, y'all, y'all black folks, and some, especially some of you black women, y'all will sit up here and hold and nail and nail somebody to the crossover her. Same thing like Kim K. Just because you don't like a person don't mean you gotta defend the person they going going up against. Like I said, I don't, I don't get the hatred for um, Tasha K. I don't get the hatred for Kanye. You may not like what he said. You may not like your actors, but how does it affect you? And then, then part of it is, is he telling the truth? What has he said that has been a lie? A lot of things is choices, and people don't like to hear that. But for real, for real, a lot of things were choices. Because think of it now, like today, a lot of things were choices now. It's many of us, more than 13%, but yet look what plight we in, look what we still choosing, still choosing to be in the emotional tirade about stuff. And, st and then, oh, 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 right quick. Another subject right quick. Can we please stop these so-called debates on social media? Cause I just feel like people making up questions just to stir up some mess because some of these, some of these debates and some of these stories just sound so stupid. And then another thing that need to go right, it just started, that low vibrational play. Stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Because y'all just run with trends and just run with them like y'all some, some type of spiritual motherfuckers for real. No, you're not. You just following the trend because you think it's cute. No, no. Like, please just stop it. Like, for real, for real, it's kind of good that I'm working in, in, in school because I really don't get a chance to look at social media like that. Because for real, for real, the past couple of days, like Nicki Minaj said, it showed that a bunch of y'all is dumb. A whole bunch of uh, duds. Like for real though, like like she she like she she spoke the truth. It like a lot of y'all are getting very dumb on this social media this past week, especially if following some of these trends. Can you please sit back and think for yourself and have some common sense? Cause everything ain't meant to be trendy. So please, please bury it, bury it six feet. Now then on low vibration vibrational plate. Please stop it. Please stop it because that is so unnecessary. That's another tactic to sit up here and cause division and confusion. Enough is enough. Stop it. Stop it. I'm just so tired of black people being damn stupid. Quit being stupid. Let's be a little bit smarter. I'm not talking telling you to be a genius or be a rocket scientist. It'd be nice. But hey, let's be a little bit smarter. Let's be smarter than the fifth grader. It ain't going to hurt. It's not going to hurt. Ain't you tired of being dumb niggas? Ain't you tired? I'm tired of seeing some of y'all being away. And and I could and don't sit up here talking about what about you. I don't do everything right. But here goes the thing too. I'm not on social media being stupid. There's a difference. You ain't gonna see all my mess. I'm seeing all y'all mess. You're being stupid. So stop being stupid. All right, y'all. This man I'll tell you it's great. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'm going to try to get this phone thing together. I'm going to try to get back to my Android because I don't like iPhones. I don't understand why y'all go up for them. I don't think they're good about it. It's this goddamn camera. But overall, eh. It's a no for me, iPhone. It's a no for me. Bring back the droid. All right. I'm done. I hope y'all enjoy. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll holler at y'all whenever I get a chance because your boy is busy. So good luck to y'all. Good luck to me dealing with school and everything. And I will talk to y'all later. All right.